This is a Bunsen burner. It's a very common lab device used to heat things quickly and efficiently. To light a Bunsen burner, you need the Bunsen burner itself, matches or a flint lighter, somewhere to put the matches if you're using matches, uh, goggles, and an active gas line. A Bunsen burner works by combining methane gas from the gas line with oxygen from the air and combusting it to create a hot flame. Working with any flame can be dangerous, so I'll start by going over safety rules. Step one, clear the area of all flammable objects. This roll of paper towel is obviously flammable as is steel wool, an aerosol, or any alcohol. You'll want to keep these far away from the flame so that there's no chance that they could ignite spontaneously. The second safety step is to wear lab-appropriate clothing. That means only closed-toed shoes, so no flip-flops and no Crocs. Uh, it means to tie back any hair that is shoulder length or longer with uh, an elastic band. In some cases, it will mean wearing an apron to prevent hot materials from spilling over you. It will also mean not wearing any loose or baggy clothing. You will always want to wear safety glasses. This prevents smoke and other flammable things from getting into your eyes. In some cases, you will want to wear safety goggles instead because they provide a better seal. Always use the Bunsen burner safely. That means never leaving it unattended when it is lit, and it also means to always adjust it from the bottom of the barrel because the top and middle become very hot when it is lit. Know where the safety blanket, fire extinguisher, and other safety materials are. From the front of the lab, the fire blanket will be in the back left corner of the lab while the fire extinguisher and safety goggles will be in the back right corner. Now I'm going to show you how to safely light a Bunsen burner. First, you take the hose and connect it to the gas line. Second, you twist the barrel until it is completely shut and then twist it back the other way about one full rotation. Then you twist the gas valve at the bottom until it is completely shut and then twist it back about one full rotation. You need to turn on the gas. You do that by twisting the valve until it is parallel with the hose. You will be able to hear a faint hissing because of the escaping methane gas. You do not want to leave the hose on for too long without lighting it because lots of methane will escape into the room and that is a hazard. Once the gas is flowing and you can hear the gas escaping, you have to strike a match and light it. Hold the match away from the flame, and then when you're done, put it in the used match container. Next, we're going to light with flint and steel. Again, hold your hand away from the flame and squeeze to strike and light the flame. The screw valve on the bottom controls the amount of methane let into the Bunsen burner. Loosen the screw to let in more and tighten it to let in less. More methane will make a larger flame and less methane will make a smaller flame. This is about the ideal amount of flame. The screw valve on the barrel controls the amount of oxygen from the air that burns with the methane. If your flame is like this, loosen the barrel. The ideal flame is blue and cone-shaped with a faint inner cone. You may also hear a hissing. This is the ideal Bunsen burner flame. The hottest part of the flame is directly above the inner cone, so if you are heating something, you will want to position it right above the inner cone. To turn off the Bunsen burner, screw the barrel until it is tight. The flame should be orange or yellow. Then screw the valve underneath until the flame dies down and stops. Then turn off the gas. Next, disconnect the hose from the gas line. Tie it like a pretzel so that it stays secure. Be careful not to touch the barrel because it is likely still hot from using the Bunsen burner. If you follow the directions in this video, you will minimize your risk of having a lab accident. If a lab accident does occur, stay calm, do not panic, shut off the gas and call your teacher over. While using a Bunsen burner, it's very important that you use common sense.